Hey, my sous chef and I, well, my second chef, I should say, are making fried rice two ways. Joanna here is gonna be making fried rice using- Actual rice. Yes, um, which we buy the microwavable since it's less quantity and easier. Yes. And then John and I are going to have cauliflower fried rice using this cauliflower rice. We're having the healthier version. Joanna and Grammy's over, they get to eat the real good stuff. So we also need an onion. So I buy Vidalia onions. We probably don't even need this whole thing even for all of us. We need soy sauce. One egg per person, as Joanna likes to say. We need yeah. another one. Oh, we so we're gonna need four eggs, two for each recipe. Let's swing over here. I'm gonna use a splash of Marin. It's it's like sake, but without the alcohol. Just use a splash. Um, sesame oil, a little bit. I ran out of my Goya extra virgin olive oil, so I'm gonna to have to use what I have, the Felipe Barrio. And salt and pepper. Mm. All right, there's two things we need to microwave for this recipe, the Uncle Ben's, and actually the cauliflower because if you don't do it, it's still gonna have that crunch. If you don't mind it, then you can just, it'll cook while you're sauteing. But for John, he doesn't wanna be reminded that it's a vegetable and not rice. So I microwave it first, so the texture is closer to what rice would be like. And I just follow the directions that are on the back. It's a microwave in bag. So I'm gonna do it for three okay, minutes. So while my mom is microwaving the cauliflower rice. I turn on the stove and um, I need to put on the olive oil. Um, I don't know how much. A couple tablespoons, yeah. right? Just kind of eyeball it. That's plenty. Yeah. Okay, and I've already, I took a quarter of the onion and diced it. So we each are using a quarter of the, of the large Vidalia onion. What I do is I just spread out the olive oil so that it gets everywhere with a spatula. Okay. And yeah. Sounds good. For my cauliflower rice, I like to add as much flavor as possible because it is a vegetable. I put a drop of Sesame oil. That looks okay. like more than a drop. Thank you, <laughs> Joanna. <laughs> Peanut gallery. And then, oops, that's probably too much, but that's all right, of olive oil. I'm going to start my engine also. And wait for it. Oops. Ready? Yeah, it's... Um, you can tell when the when it's hot enough because the oil will start to brown a little bit. Okay, and mine I could smell the sesame oil. Okay. So, um, what I, what I usually do is I put the onion in first. It's okay. I wash my hands. <laughs> Now, can you hold then, this okay. for me real quick? And then I'll let them cook well, for, um, like, maybe 15 seconds or so. Like, I don't know. Like, I'll mix them around, and then I'll put in the egg. All right. All right, mine I'm going to show you. I do cook it a little longer because I want it to be a little more, I want it to be soft and more translucent. So you need to cook it for like three to four minutes. When it's cooking, I like to, as you, I've said before, season in layers. So I like to salt and pepper my onion. There. Okay. How are you doing, Joanna? So now it's time to crack the eggs. Um, you just crack them right into the pan like you're making a fried egg. Um, I'm using two because this is for two people. And I let it uh, cook for a little bit. Okay. Um, I let it cook while I, uh, while I start to microwave my rice for uh, 90 
seconds. It's important that you tear a hole. Oh yeah, notes. I forgot to pierce the bag of the cauliflower and it blew up like a balloon. So if you ever wonder what happens when you don't pierce the bag, that's what happens. <laughs> and now I'm going to break the yolk and that will um, let it like um, half scramble, I guess you could say. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna wait just one more minute and then I'm gonna put my egg in. What Joanna does different than mine. Her onion is actually cooking longer and her egg is kind of sitting on top so it isn't gonna cook as fast as you'll see when I do my egg. So either method works and it comes out with the same result in the end. Yeah. Um, oh, the rice is about to be ready. Okay. Right Sorry after my it is done, I tear the whole thing off and I dump in the rice so that it can cook. And I mix it around a bit. And once I mix it around, I will add in my sesame oil and soy sauce. Time for me to add my egg. Um, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Uh, you can mix it, I mean, crack it ahead of time in something and then, you know, beat it like you're gonna scramble it, but this just, Saves the extra dish. Hang on, I need my spatula. Give one sec, sweetheart. Okay, then right away is when I kind of mix mine up. I like to get it. Sorry for background noise. We're prepping a barbecue. I'm going to let this cook a minute, and then I'm going to put in the cauliflower. Yes, my dear. So um, now I am going to add in the sesame oil and soy sauce. I do um, not a lot of sesame oil. Okay. That should be good. And then for my soy sauce, um, that should be enough. And now I'm going to mix it up and then season it. While you're mixing, I'm just going to mix my egg and it looks like it's about ready for the cauliflower. You want it somewhat wet, just a drop, not cooked all the way through. Um, I need two hands for this, i got to put my phone down. So I'm going to put the right. cauliflower in. We're in. So I'm going to mix this up. To incorporate the egg. Oh, thanks, Joanna. I got my <laughs> third hand. Okay, and I'm gonna just let that cook a minute so it can sort of fry a bit on the bottom. Okay, right, so Joanna. I'm gonna season. And then, so, um, you don't can need you do much mine too? Yeah. You don't need much salt because the soy sauce mm. is very salty, so yes. that you... should be perfect. <clears throat> and I add some pepper. And she's going to salt and pepper mine too, please. Okay. Um. Same yeah. about the salt. Yeah. Although Joan does like more pepper, so I'll go back and add more pepper after. But that's good for now. Okay. Yes, you may. Um, when you know if you add enough soy sauce, when your rice turns this brownish beige color. Mm. And now I'm just mixing it. I'm going to wait a minute with the cauliflower because the cauliflower, since it's a vegetable, when it's cooking, some liquid might seep out and I don't want to overwhelm it with wetness because then it'll be 
mushy. So I want to dry it out a little bit more first before I add the soy sauce. With the rice, you don't have to do that. I want the duenna to put the rice up. Ooh, it's nice and golden. I like nice to get it golden. crispy. Mmm. Because then it gives it an extra flavor, the crispiness. And then mm. I mix it around it and I let it crisp up again. I do it twice to make sure that most of them are crispy. The bland vegetable as opposed to the rice. I put some garlic powder on. If I thought of it earlier, I would have probably put some minced garlic in with the onion while I was cooking. Um, I am gonna, at this point, do just a splash of mirin. Oh, let's get you a bowl, sweetie. Up in the right, the white bowl. This? Yep. Oh, that's looking good, Joanna. Okay, so I have finished with the rice, so I turn off the heat, and um, I use this to scoop up the rice so I don't make a mess, because mm. it gets everywhere. Do you want if some I'm help? To, no, I can do it. Joanna, I should note, does this quite often. She likes to eat it sometimes for lunch, and she'll eat half, and then she'll have the other half for another time. Yeah. It's really good. I mean, for an 11-year-old, she wants, I just let her do everything how she wants to do it. It's fine by me. She's doing it. She also makes delicious scrambled eggs, by the way. If you look into my older YouTube videos, if you're interested, she had to do a how-to project. What grade was that? Fourth, I think. Yeah. For fourth grade, and she recorded herself. Oh, how cute you were, even just like a couple years ago. You look so different. Um, but she made scrambled eggs for the video. So check it out. Yeah. Okay. I've improved my recipe over the years. <laughs> I gotta come over here. Ooh. I'm just gonna do this because there's very little rice left. Good job, sweetie. All right, great. So we're gonna put that out on our table for you and Grammy. Right, Grammy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Oh, what a treat. <laughs> <laughs> Add my soy sauce, so I'm gonna do kind of like what Joanna did. All right, because So it won't get as crisp as the regular rice did for Joanna, but I'm gonna try my darndest to get somewhat of a crisp to it. So I'm gonna let this sit here. I'm gonna actually turn the heat up just one notch. I don't want it to be up too high because it'll burn. So there's one thing you have to watch. I mean, if it, the rice, doesn't tend to burn as quickly if you turn the heat up than the cauliflower does. Grammy's getting all the little bits that Joanna left. Although I gotta say, Joanna did a better job this time. Usually all those extra bits somehow wind up all over the counter. Grammy! Tasting! Mm. <laughs> so you gotta flip this section. See how it's a little slightly darker brown? So it's starting to brown a bit. I don't want to go too much because it will burn it, but a couple more minutes and I say it's so all right. I'm going to put it in a bowl, but unlike Joanna, I'm going to hold it and put it in, but I need two hands. Or do I? Oh my gosh. Look at that. All right. I'm going to scrape the rest. That's all right, sweetheart. For the most part, I'm going to scrape the rest, but let's call this done. Great job, sweetie. Love Joanna. <laughs> now, who's doing the dishes tonight? You. <laughs> <laughs> Grammy? You. <laughs> hey! <laughs>